Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the FabFilter Pro MB, and in particular, how to use it in a post-production session as a multiband ducker for music when the dialogue is present, and also to compress the mix as a whole to bring the level up. So let's start by defaulting this to the factory settings so we have nothing going on at the moment, and I've actually got this on the music track. But before we apply any settings, let's just take a listen to how this audio is sounding without it. Why Matterhorn? We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland, the Mountain of Mountains. Okay, so the dialogue is getting a little bit lost amongst the music. So what we can do is, let's just click to add a frequency band here. We want this to actually duck the music when the dialogue is present. So I've already gone into the sidechain section here, chosen a bus. I've actually renamed bus one as SC for sidechain. And then on the dialogue track, the voiceover track, I've created a send using that same bus. And of course, I've made sure that the level is set to give some output. Now, one other thing in order for this to actually work as a sidechain ducker, we need to go into the expert section here and in the sidechain section, set it to external. So rather than the music compressing itself, it's going to be triggered by the voiceover. Why Matterhorn? We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland, the Mountain of Mountains, because its impact is nothing less than epic. One thing to mention about the attack and release, which I need to adjust a little bit, is that you notice they're specified as a percentage rather than an absolute value. And this is because the exact attack and release is dependent upon the frequency band you've got selected. So let's just make some adjustments to this. Why Matterhorn? We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland, the Mountain of Mountains, because its impact is nothing less than epic. And remember, the range control specifies the maximum amount of gain reduction. In this case, it's set to about 6 dB. I could go heavier. Let's just try that, see how it sounds. Because its impact is nothing less than epic. And that's working well in that section. This kind of covers the most important part of the frequency range as far as dialogue goes, but I do want to apply some ducking slightly below it so I can just click within the interface. You can see this little plus icon appears. Click there, and I think I'll set this band to go down to maybe 100 hertz. I'm not really bothered about ducking it below that, so that's probably fine, but I don't want this to attenuate the, the level quite so much as the other band. And one important thing that I also need to do is go into the expert section for this frequency band and set it to external as well. Because its impact is nothing less than epic. But in the backcountry, who you choose to ski with is as important as the terrain you choose to ski. Okay, that sounds reasonably good. Let's try it without Pro MB and then we'll hear it again with. Why Matterhorn? We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland. Okay, and here it is with. Why Matterhorn? We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland, the Mountain of Mountains, because its impact is nothing less than epic. And I might just extend the high frequency of this very slightly. In practice, there's not much important stuff in dialogue really at this kind of frequency, but nevertheless, it sounds like it might benefit from it. So I'm going to take that up to quite a high frequency, about 12 kilohertz. Because its impact is nothing less than epic. But in the backcountry, who you choose to ski with is as important as the terrain you choose to ski. Having the right collaboration model is essential and can do are working closely with all the major... Now, of course, in practice, you might combine this with volume automation, but where you need a ducker, this is very good because it's frequency dependent and you can really set those thresholds and the amount of attenuation on a per band basis. So the Pro MB is excellent for this. Now, in terms of loudness, this mix was done to a level of around minus 23 LUFs, so that's consistent with the EBU R128 loudness specification. But maybe we want to do a web version of this and we want it to be significantly louder. Well, that's where I could use the Pro MB, but on the master bus in this case. So let's just instantiate this. And this time, as I play this back, I'm going to open a loudness meter. My preferred one is New Gen Viz LM. Let's just reset this and see what we can do with Pro MB. I probably want to add a few bands. So to begin with, I'll just add some bands like this at, at random, almost at random, and then I'll tailor these based on what I actually hear. Because its impact is nothing less than epic. 
but in the backcountry, who you choose to ski with is as important as the terrain you choose to ski. Having the right collaboration model is essential and CanDo are working closely with all the major computer processors vendors as well as a large range of PC OEMs to implement Matterhorn in their products. Innovating at the cutting edge is like crossing a glacier. Visibility is poor. You have to be able to trust your partner implicitly and intuitively. If there was an excessive amount of low frequency content in it and you wanted to rein it in a little bit, of course, in the low band, you could go in and set a lower threshold and maybe even increase the maximum range to specify the maximum amount of attenuation. This one doesn't seem too heavy, but quite frequently I will use this in cases where something's perhaps been mixed for cinema and it had a lot of low frequency content. That maybe doesn't always translate across to things such as videos intended for mobile devices or just streaming online where people are going to be watching it through much smaller speakers. So this is very useful for just reining in those low frequencies and making them a bit less prominent. Now let's see how we're doing for loudness. I might target in this case, maybe around minus 16 luffs, but Let's see where we are. We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland, the Mountain of Mountains, because its impact is nothing less than epic. Okay, I think I need to just increase the output level of each of these a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy with the bass just for the reasons I previously mentioned, but I'm going to increase the other bands like this. Now, as a final thing, let's do an A-B comparison. So here are both instances of Pro and B which I've used. I'll play a section of this one more time, first without both of them, and then with both of them. USB 3.2, DisplayPort 2.1, Thunderbolt, and most excitingly, USB 4. Why Matterhorn? We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland. Okay, and now with Pro and B switched in. USB 3.2, DisplayPort 2.1, Thunderbolt, and most excitingly, USB 4. Why Matterhorn? We named this chip after the most famous mountain in Switzerland, the Mountain of Mountains, because its impact is nothing less than epic. Okay, so that's using the FabFilter Pro MB in a post-production session, both as a sidechain ducker on the music for the voiceover and also on the master bus. For more information, head over to fabfilter.com. Thanks for watching.